Okay, welcome to your lesson on examining renewable energy sources. So today you are going to be able to give examples of renewable energy sources and describe their benefits and drawbacks to the environment by the end of this lesson. So let's get it right into it. What does the look, uh, future of energy look like? Currently, Fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gas power 80% of the world's homes, cars, and transportations. And fossil fuels are very harmful to our environment. Scientists and engineers are even looking for alternative solutions for energy to make it more sustainable and affordable. And they have come up with many solutions, but the top five that we're going to be dis discussing today are solar, tidal, geothermal, hydropower, and wind energy. So solar energy is our very first one. Solar energy comes from the sun's constantly replenishable energy source. And we have solar pan panels that turn the sun's energy into electricity. And this is really special because it can heat homes, pools, turn on lights, and so much more. There is one drawback of solar energy and is that the sun doesn't shine 24-7. It only shines certain times of the day. And in some parts of the world, the sun only shines in small chunks of time. And so wherever there is not a lot of sun, you can't really have solar energy. Let's go next into tidal energy. Tidal energy turns the ocean's waves and tides into power that can be used to power communities. Uh, so this moving water, you hear this theme of moving water that creates energy. And in tidal, the ocean's tides don't ever run out. So it is renewable. One of the biggest drawbacks to tidal energy is the cost of getting it started and running. Compared to wind farms, which you'll learn more about in a, in a moment, tidal power plants are a little more expensive. Next, we're going to be going over geothermal energy. Geothermal energy uses the heat from the core of the earth to generate energy. Because of the core of the earth is constantly being heated, this type of resource doesn't run out. And although geothermal energy does little harm to the environment, the biggest disadvantage is the cost of building and maintaining a geothermal plant. Next up is hydropower energy. Hydropower is similar to tidal energy in that it gets power from moving water. Hydropower energy is built around rivers. And a dam or a river with fast moving water does not use up resources such as oil or coal. So it is a sustainable source of energy. Although it is sustainable, dams can cause damage to the ecosystem or loss of land for many species of animals. In some instances, humans may also be forced to relocate and leave their homes near lakes or rivers. And the last one we're going to be going over is wind energy. Wind power can generate electricity and power communities around it. These wind turbines are created to harness the energy from wind in windy locations. Uh, with w wind power can make a community's landscape to be less attractive. So that's a drawback. Uh, and the wind turbine blades can also cause harm to birds flying in the area. So here's a question for you and your partner. Why should humans use renewable energy? Your second question is, pick a renewable energy source. Discuss its benefits. Here is your third question. Pick a renewable energy source. Discuss its costs or drawbacks. 